South Florida, I will take six more weeks of winter. <laughs> we get to wear sweaters. <laughs> Anytime. Loving it, Lisette. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's what I say. If it's six more weeks of this, we'll take it. Yeah, thanks, Punxsutawney Phil, our favorite little furry forecaster. You know, it's a silly tradition, but it's also fun. I was explaining it to my daughters this morning, and they were so excited. They're like, oh, a groundhog is predicting the weather? Yeah, well, today maybe. But uh, other than that, I hope you can just count on me, as, of course, I try to give you an accurate forecast. And looking at the national picture, speaking of winter, you know, still dealing with the snow across parts of the northeast New England areas due to that winter storm, that low pressure area that's still lingering there. And then over on the west coast, the Pacific Northwest parts of California also dealing with wet and wintry weather. But boy, oh boy, the pictures of the blizzard conditions and the snow piling up across the northeast New England areas, even around Punxsutawney as there have been snow flurries there as well. A friend of mine who lives in Pennsylvania sent me photos of the snow and it looks like a winter wonderland from a distance. It looks so pretty but then of course you get in there and it gets really messy once it starts melting hey i'll take this i'm all about the beach and also blue skies and cool temperatures that's our view from our wind jammers or camera lauderdale by the sea it's the most wonderful time of the year i know lots of friends on facebook and uh, social media on twitter have been saying how much they are loving this sweater weather south florida style as we look from our cvs4 camera into around that winter sunshine in full force and looking at the radar and satellite we are drying quiet and look at these numbers right now upper 50s and Weston low 60s in Fort Lauderdale Miami mid to upper 60s down through the Keys look at the winds out of the west 20 25 miles an hour gusts as high as 29 to 32 miles an hour so today our highs only in the low to mid 60s because of the strong winds keep in mind boaters marine advisories continue a gale warning a small craft advisory and then tonight will be even colder it'll likely be the coldest temperatures we've seen in about a year or so coldest of the season for sure as lows will be around 45 along the coast, 40 inland. And not only that, when you factor in the wind, it's going to feel like the upper 30s by the time you wake up tomorrow morning around 6, 7 a.m. So tomorrow, needing the heavier coats and sweaters, highs in the upper 60s, the high 70 Thursday, and then warmer Friday, Saturday, the upper 70s. Another cold front arrives by next weekend, ladies.